So it's our last night in Scandinavia and I'm, I'm excited to go home, but I'm also really sad that the trip is over. It's been incredible. Um, coming at this one from a working adult perspective and a student, um, it's been a very new travel experience. So I've traveled for work, traveled for leisure, but um, none of those things compared to traveling for education and the lessons that I've learned. So on this trip, I had hoped to answer the question, um, is the hype for real? Are the Scandinavian people really happier? And who has to suffer um, or who has to give up uh, at the cost of, of them living the way that they do with their social welfare system? And what I saw time and time again was that everyone gave up a little bit, but for the most part, people were happy to do so and saw the value in those sacrifices and in making sure that people had the security and the um, financial safety nets in order to um, succeed and, and to move on. So um, there still are issues with their system being, um, as they're having people aging out of the working system. The concern is that there won't be enough um, young workers to replace the population, so there won't be enough support going into the system. Um, and there's the potential for their system to kind of collapse. And so um, you're seeing companies like um, Best Brains and Adapt and McKellar and uh, Omnipolo just trying to look at things in a more efficient way, trying to do things a little bit differently, trying to be more agile so that they are able to have methods that allow them to change. And as they're moving forward, they're not um, expecting things to stay the same and they aren't looking for um, standardization. What they're looking for is um, consistency and uh, the ability to continually improve. And that came out time and time again, that plus the, the trust value and the uh, expression that everyone really does contribute and everyone plays a role and, and there's some importance there. So the overall business model um, of, of a corporate head honcho, upper level executives, and then these lower level um, kind of menial employees just doesn't really fit here and it doesn't really work. Um, personally, I would love to see that transfer to the United States, but um, I don't feel like we can just pick up one model and place it over our own. Um, there's a long history of that and so um, back to labor unions being formed, back to um, people fighting for their rights, the, the culture has evolved to be that way and although there are lots of things that we can take from that culture, um, it's not as easy as just picking it up and saying, here's what we're going to do now. So um, what I'm coming away with is the feeling that I, I have some tools that I can apply in my own circle of influence and um, making sure that I'm working in a way that's agile and making sure that projects are value added and that I'm listening to my people and I'm hearing from the people on the ground when I'm making project improvements. Um, and so that's, that's really the first step. So I'm excited to get home and, and get to work. It's been really great. Bye.